Uh, the Pistons like Asar. They love Asar, and they're going to be targeting him. Do you buy into that? Are you hearing any of that? Because we know that Troy Weaver plays things close to the vest. Like You're, you're not going to get much out of him, but mm-hmm. we've seen the reports. I think it was from Bleacher Report saying that uh, Asar is somebody that the Pistons are keying in on. Um, all I can say is, yeah, Weaver, they, he, they really like him. That's all. I, I could say... I could say some other things, but I, I'm going to keep them oh, close. Oh, come on! But I'm gonna keep it. I have to keep it close. But they like them. I can say that they like them. I mean, to, to further, I guess, prove that point, did cancel his workouts for mm-hmm. uh, the remaining teams. Following which workouts with Chris? He was Indiana at seven. Yes, and, but so I it could be it could be the Pistons or Orlando at six two. I think he'd fit good with Orlando at six two. So it doesn't mean yeah. it has to be the Pistons. It could be Orlando. I'm I gonna, agree with that. I'm going to 100% agree with uh, you as far as like, Ahmed as a prospect. Chris is actually the one who uh, put me on to him. Actually, at our house during the, the final, at the last yeah, finals during game. during the finals game, yeah. And I was, I mean, Chris was there for my reaction. I was blown away. I mean, almost like another athletic, more athletic version of, of Caden. And I think it, it could work, but I just think you're too reliant on Ivy or just one of the three to shoot consistently. I think I, I, Cade and Ahmed could work just because of the athleticism of Ahmed. But then you need Ivy to consistently knock down that three. Although he did shoot it a lot better than I expected, but mm-hmm. I, I don't know, man. I'm just not in love with that fit per se. Could I could I say something about the fit uh, fit thoughts here? Yes. Yeah. So I'm the, wearing this uh, is, new. This is I'm why <laughs> fresh fit. <laughs> <laughs> I got that kind of tour merch. This is, why, <laughs> this is why I'm 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 against the fit ideas with any of the prospects, really, because I saw somebody tweet this at me today and it's a great point it's i feel like how pistons fans need to be thinking about this they just won 17 games last year all of these guys are 20 21 19 years old like they have an extremely young core they're probably like five to seven years away from being like like they may make the playoffs at some point before then or the play and whatever but like probably like five seven years away from being like considered legit contenders like that kind of thing and by then half this team's more than half this team's going to be gone it, it could be like ivy could be gone Durin could be gone it's very likely that like by then maybe they package a lot of those guys that go get a star to pack to pair with Cade and be a suit like we don't this team is nowhere near close to the point where i feel like they need to be worried about fit because the team could be completely different in three to four years because they don't know where they're going to end up and when it's strictly about i mean with our men with the fit I mean, he's so. I have him such grave a prospect that, like, if the Pistons were, if he were to fall to five with the Pistons, he wouldn't be the one eventually that people would be talking about getting rid of. Like, if if it came to that, it wouldn't be him because he's that. I, like, that's how great of a prospect I think he is. But I, I don't think that they would run into many problems. I, I don't. I truly don't think they'd run into many problems because Ivy is a better shooter than I feel like people give him credit for. And before Cade went down, the big sell on Cade or the big sell on Ivy was that he played real good off ball in Purdue and he could play off ball next to Cade. And one of the reasons why Cade was such a great prospect was because he could play on and off ball. So, and also I'm in, I, I, like I said earlier, I don't believe he needs the ball in his hands nonstop to be effective too. So when you got guys that are versatile, like they are, if he were to fall to five, I don't think that would be a problem. Same kind of thing with Asar, but just to a lesser extent, I don't think Asar is nearly as good of a prospect as his brother, but kind of the same idea.